Peyton Randolph house. Um, the one thing that I really like about that place is that it is really creepy. You know, like, um, when you go up to it, you feel something like it. It's just got, it's like no other place in Cloning Williamsburg. Um, when I went to the backyard one time, actually trespassing when I shot, probably shouldn't have been. Um, I was, uh, had my wife and my son with me. And they were in the front just kind of looking around. And I was like, this is really kind of cool. Let me go to the back gate and check out everything. And, you know, kind of look over there. And I got through the gate and I got close to the house. And when I got close to the house, I felt this feeling like I was being washed and I really shouldn't be there. And I was like, man, this is kind of cool. So I got close to the house and I stopped because I heard, like, movement. Like furniture moving or a table or something. Like somebody was picking up something and moving something. So I got closer, and I heard it again, and I got closer, and it got louder, and louder, and louder, and I noticed that when I got up there, I didn't hear anybody talk or anything, and I was like, that's weird, like, people are moving things, but there's no talking, like, when people move, they conversate, um, and I got up there, and I was like, that's really creepy, so my wife and son came around the back, and I was like, hey, is there any, are they doing any tours, and she said, no, not that I know of. And I was like, just asking because I thought I heard furniture moving. And I said, is maybe maintenance in there? And she said, nope, nobody's in there. So I actually went right back around. And I noticed that when they do tours, they have the flags out. And there's a lady or a guy out. And they tell you when the next tour is. And um, I was like, wow, so there's no flag. There's nobody in there. And I was like, wow, that's really kind of cool. And my wife was like, well, what happened? And I was like, I, I heard furniture moving in there. And it was, it was really creepy because as I got closer, it got louder. And like... Three weeks later, I did the tour, and they're clearly they don't have carpet or anything else. They have wood floors, but I didn't notice where the um, floors had been scratched, which I thought was really weird too, because the furniture moving, and this is not the first time it's happened, because I've heard stories where people, other people, have heard it. Um, but there's no scratches on the floor, so I thought that was really weird. The the cool part was where I heard it is marked off, like you can't get in there unless you have a key to open the little gate that they have in there. And I was like, wow, that's um, that's kind of creepy. So I really did hear a ghost. And um, talking to Charles about it, like, months and months later, I was like, you know, I wonder if I could have peeked through the blinds if I would have actually caught them eating dinner. And I said, I'm kind of happy I didn't because if I would have, that probably would have really just changed the experience completely because, you know, how many people want to see, you know, dead people eating. And at, at a large quantity of people because they that table set, I think, six. So that was that was really weird. Um, the other thing that I've had happen was when I went up to it at night. I've um, walked up to it, and I would ask. I'd ask, you know, Mr. Randolph, you know, hey, show me something. This is nighttime. You know, I have my friends with me. It's it's already eerie because it's, it's where it's built and how the moon hits it. Um, I want you to show me something. I never got anything, and I kept on asking and kept on being persistent, and then like. Nothing really happened, but, like, like my hairs on my arms, like, stood up on ends. Like, something was right there, like, right in front of me. I couldn't see it, but I could definitely feel it. And I was like, okay, it's time to leave and go with the rest of the group. So, I did that. Um, and that's pretty much my experience at the Peyton Randolph house. 